Four. We'll try this one more time as the field goes towards turn number three. Ryan Bartlett again on the point. Green flag will wave. So we'll take him up into turns number one and two. Once again, everybody makes their way through turn one. Now off of turn two, backstretch we race. Bartlett jumps out in front. And now Webb is going to work the outside of Hall here as they come off the turn. How about Billy Dunn? He's up there on the high side as well. Three wide off of turn number four. McCready down low. McCready now up to position number four. McCready down to the bottom. Billy Dunn's just going to try the outside of the groove. Can't seem to hook it right there as McCready tries right back underneath him. Nick Webb now putting pressure on the 29 of Joel Hall. Battle for the number two spot as Ryan Bartlett looks to run away down the front stretch into turn number one. But Dunn's going to go by on the outside. Billy Dunn looking for the spot, and we got one car stopped. That is Cameron Black midway down the back stretch. As Bartlett slows the field, brings us down to the restart zone off of turn number four. Green flag displayed. We're back underway. Wow. Stack them up three wide. Look at Billy Dunn go through the middle. Dunn went to the outside of the speedway, took over spot number two down the back stretch, and now here comes Nick Webb right back to the inside. Into three and four up on the outside. Billy Dunn looking for the race lead as they work off at turn number four to the line they call Bartlett over Dunn, but Dunn not done. He's going to the top side through one and two. He's using that groove to the outside again. Works off turn number two. Ryan Bartlett can see him now to the outside. Bartlett's going to drive it down deep into turn number three. Dunn on the outside. Wheel to wheel. Here we go. Billy Dunn is now your leader off four. Lance Willis, the stream bottom side. And there goes Timmy Fuller. He's found something on the outside. He'll drive around to the outside of Willis and the number 27 of Webb. And he'll take over spot number four. And now he's headed for third. You must have heard me talking about him. Off at turn number two, backstretch we race. Race is on for the number three spot. Bartlett down to the inside. Fuller takes it up to the top there. Off at turn four, roll. Fuller bounces the car through the corner. Bartlett coming back at him, but not enough. Tim Fuller now on the podium. Into three and four now. Jordan McCready has the runner-up spot, but Tim Fuller knocking on the door. Tim Fuller looks to the inside. They'll pull. He pulls even off the turn. They're even as they come to the stripe. Tim Fuller. And the 28 of McCready, Fuller completes the pass off of turn two and give the runner-up spot now to Tim Fuller. They switch lanes. For Tim Fuller, two to go for Billy Dunn as he takes it in third. Whoa, car sideways in front of him, and Dunn just avoids the 4B machine. Wow, he got to the inside. Now he's at the side underneath the Scott Webb. Right? He's stuck in between a couple of cars down to turn number three and four. One car slowed down the back shot. That is Page in the 4B as they go to turn number three and four. So white flag is out last time around for Billy Dunn. Off of corner number two. One more time, he works the back stretch here at Can-Am. Billy Dunn, three quarters of a straightaway as he works to turn three one final time. He'll point it through the middle of the turn, comes right down through the middle, off turn number four. Checker flags are coming out. Billy Dunn is going to score the win second week in a row. Tim Fuller is going to come home second. Third spot's going to belong to Jordan McCready. Lance Willix will come home fourth. Jack Gill is going to round out the top five. Getting the head restraint off, getting ready to climb out on the backside of the 49. Can-Am Speedway, what do you say? Your Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car modified winner. Here's Billy Dunn.